idea of berg panther or mountain panther came up in 1943 because of the problems with the salvage of heavy and medium tanks. The half track vehicles previously used for salvage, the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 9, were rarely able to successfully rescue a panther or a tiger tank. Towing with another tiger or panther was strictly prohibited as this could result in the loss of both tanks. The first Berg Panthers were almost completely Panthers of type D, with the manufacturer Mann only omitting the tower. A specially produced tub of the Berg Panther was largely similar to that of the Panther, with the modifications of the G version being adopted at the end of 1944. The crew consisted of at least three soldiers, the device being operated by two soldiers inside the vehicle. Square, wooden and metal structures were now located where the turret of the main battle tank was, and the witch, with a longitudinal tractive force of 40 tons, was embedded in the hull of the tank. A large earth spore at the rear served as support. A Berg Panther also had a simple crane boom with a load capacity of 1.5 tons. The mountain panther was quite reliable in its area of responsibility and due to its armor could also be used under enemy fire. Even the heavy tiger and its variants could be easily recovered by the mountain panther with its winch. In addition of the onboard machine gun which could be attached to support on the right or left of the combat area, the Berg Panther was given a bow mount to hold a 2 cm machine gun. However, this ceased to exist in the course of 1944. With the change over to the tub shape of the Panther G, the Berg Panther received the usual MG ball screen on the radio side. The MG support of the driver's side was also eliminated. From 1943 to 1945, approximately 339 mountain panthers of all types were produced for the German army. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.